and then this is the most important one root cord length so everything's in millimeters here um, i'm sure there's a way to change that to inches but i haven't really figured that out <laughs> uh so i've just been going to you know google's handy dandy thing here and then typing this in so we'll have millimeters to inches that's around right and you always want to make sure that whatever foam block you cut out uh, like the one I have on the hot wire right now, you want to make sure that that's the right dimensions. So if your wing's 36 inches long, you might want to rethink the cut you're making because that hot wire is only 37. Um, so maybe <laughs> maybe make your wing in like a couple sections and then bond it together. Um, so yeah, make sure that everything's in the right dimensions. You cut the right length and cord, or sorry, cord and span and then put it in here. And then if you have a different wing tip, which I assume you guys do, um, then you unclick this button and then you select your other airfoil shape. So I'm gonna put a Seligan. And then you can see the change here um, from the knack to the Selig. And then if you have any dihedrals or sweeps, you just kind of input the number here, right? feel like that's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth about all this because I don't know. Do you guys have spars? No? Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. you do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, if you do, then there's a button on here for uh, adding spars, and then it's also very self-explanatory. Um, how our entry length, you can make it zero or angled. You can make the diameter whatever diameter you want. And what that's gonna do is gonna cut a hole in the foam so that after you lay it up, you can just slide your spar through it. Um, and all that's nice. Aetherons, I wouldn't worry about that because I think you guys have 3D printed ones that you're gonna use, right? Okay, cool. Um, here, this machine, sh mis machine setup is pretty important uh, because the program we use to control the hot wire is called Gerbil, G-R-B-L. Um, I can send a link out in an announcement with all the stuff you guys need later. Um, but basically the axes are X, U, Y, and Z. And the default for DIY RC wings is X, U, Y, and something, I forgot, but it's not Z. So you wanna change that to Z. And then uh, hot wire length, you can measure it. Um, I just left it as 900 because like I said, I just got here uh, and it should work. And then the foam block, this is if you want to simulate to make sure before you cut, like measure twice, cut once, uh, you put the width and the height and the length of your foam block, and then you'll be able to see here how it's gonna go. So this is your block, this is your wing cut, and this is the path of your hot wire. Uh, G-code options, as far as all this goes, um, I'll probably just gloss over this for now, but the bottom offset is when you go from the bottom of the wire up to the start of the wing, the leading edge, which is this length right here. Um, I left it as 16 millimeters. Um, entry length is 13 millimeters, so that's how long it travels forward before it starts the cut to the leading edge. Uh, trailing edge exit length, if you make that, it's gonna do some funky thing where you can see this line growing right here. It's gonna go cut the top surface, go out the trailing edge, come back, and then cut the bottom surface. Uh, you never really want to do that. And in fact, the way you do, the way this is cutting right now is semi-wrong, but you could flip the trailing edge and the leading edge so it cuts the trailing edge first and then goes around the leading edge and comes back to the trailing edge. Uh, because if it cuts the leading edge, you're going to end up with a wing that has a funky leading edge. And that's okay for this class, I believe, because that's what Aaron did. But um, yeah. Uh, the right way to do it is the trailing edge first. And you can flip that in Excel. So then you simulate, if you want, but it'll just show you the path of the hot wire, all that stuff. And then, <laughs> I wanna make sure I got the cut speed right. And then yeah, so then you could either save the file or if you're really, really confident, <laughs> you could just export it. Um, and I'll export this. And then you go into Gerbil, and then we head over to the hot wire to get the cut. <laughs>